Yeah, I hear you, man. They're getting more compelling all the time. Uh, I'm glad you liked it. So let me give you a little more information and actually help you make up your mind. Um, their new update actually really revamped the way the user interface. It used to have to slide in and out from the sides. It was kind of clunky. Um, now they have a really nice one, and you can just pop that open, and it basically has a quick and a pro mode. And that's changed a lot, too. So um, let me break that down for a second. So quick mode is really neat because before you actually had to use the Insta360 app to add their stabilization. Now you can use quick mode and add stabilization right in the camera and then export the file directly out. So it's more ready to go, so to speak, right? So it has the hyper smooth on or, or in this case, their, their flow, go for glow. <laughs> Go stabilization, I should say. Um, but when you use their pro mode, then you can do everything in post. So if you record in pro, then you can actually go with a higher grade resolution. Then you can um, pick horizon leveling. You can do the stabilization. You can pick um, whether you shoot in log or not. In their application, you can then add those or remove those as you see fit. So if you like the stabilization, but you didn't like how the horizon lock looked because it kind of does crop sometimes, you can just just turn that off where you don't have that option at all when it comes to GoPro. When GoPro works, it's either hyper smooth is on or not. And the reason that's a big problem too is because if you want to use real steady, you can't use hyper smooth. So basically, you got to kind of think about it. If you're going to go and post and use real steady, that's fine. Turn hyper smooth off. But this gives you the option. So like on set or immediately, you just, you just want to shoot something quick. Use this stabilization on. If not, then you can just shoot it in pro and do whatever you want with it later. And it's a beautiful thing.